This one is if. It's a pretty <laughs> important concept in programming. I think basically everything is built off of this kind of uh, logic conditional checking. In TypeScript, I don't think you really need it a lot, to be honest. I haven't crossed the situation when I think I needed this type exactly, but it is a good exercise to kind of explore the concepts of how these conditionals work in TypeScript, the tuples. Some people call them uh, uh, ternaries, rather, not tuples. Uh, let's take a look. So implement a type if C with the parameters C, T, and F. So C stands for condition, T stands for true, F stands for false, which accepts condition C, a truthy value T, and a falsy value F. C is expected to be either true or false, while T can be, and F can be any type. Okay. So here we see in the examples, if true, and then A and B are the second and third parameters passed, because if is true, or because the first thing is true, A is what's returned, then we see this false, and the second thing is returned, and then we get an error here because null is not something that we're allowing for C. Okay, where would you start, Ian? Well, I would probably start, since I know this is supposed to throw an error, and I know the first parameter here needs to be, first generic needs to be a Boolean. Perfect. Yep, yep, there we go. We got, we now, got rid of that error. Great. Uh, so now this is going to be a conditional, I believe. So mm -hmm. uh, I would say like uh, C extends true. Yeah. It feels kind of weird, doesn't it? But yep. So then uh, T mm -hmm. else F. Boom. You did it. Yeah. If C extends true, return T. Otherwise, return F. That's it. That's the logic of the whole thing. Um, so there's not much to say, I think, other than that. I did find a few alternatives I'll show you. So um, of course, we need to keep the generic type. And let's let's comment out what we have before. We need to keep the generic constraint on C. But there's another way you could write it if you wanted, which is to just flip the condition. If C extends right. false, return F. Otherwise, return C. I think that's pretty straightforward. There's also this one. This is uh, using a nested condition. It's not necessary. You don't need to. <laughs> you don't need to do this. But somebody felt the need to do it. I think. I feel like this should never return C outright or something. So yeah, it's, it's like they kind of gave up at guess, this point. Yeah, yeah never. <laughs> right. Yeah. What do you do here? Work I don't know. into a corner. Yeah. Right. So you don't need to have those those nested conditionals. Another one that I thought was kind of interesting that uses the equality checker that comes with the type challenges is this one. So it's saying if C is equal to true, return true. Uh, otherwise, return the false parameter. Uh, okay, I mean, that's a way to do it. It's a little heavy. It turns out, actually, this is a thing topic for another time. But this, this guy here, equal, is very complicated. It's actually quite difficult to do this in TypeScript the equal checker, but it is possible. And the last one I found, this is a nope. It's, uh, I don't know why, but somebody didn't constrain the type on C. So it doesn't error for for this case. And, you know, they, they kind of like return, tried to join with the null case. So it's like, it's a little wonky, but this is a good example of if you get stuck, try to look back at constraining the generics. Uh, again, that looks like this, where we have C extends Boolean right in the top in, in the declaration. If you can constrain the generics, it really helps a lot to kind of refine the scope of what TypeScript is trying to do in the body of your type. So, cool. Any other, any other thoughts, Ian? No, I, I guess one thing you could, for your condition, extend uh, the union of true and false. That sure, would be yeah, yeah. Unnecessary in this case, but I could see other cases where uh, if you weren't just accepting true and false, maybe you wanted to to return one thing in one you know, one particular case, and, mm -hmm. and you're not using a boolean. Like maybe maybe you could do something like that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, in boolean's case, it's very obvious what it is, but it's yeah. Uh, yeah. That's a great shout. Sometimes it's nice to just put the options here that you expect, and then people when they see your API. Another nice thing is that if somebody hovers over if or whatever your type is somewhere else in your code base, they're going to see the constraints and it'll kind of help them digest what it is you're trying to get them to do with it. And that can be useful too. Yep. Cool. Let's keep going. <laughs>